Coral reefs are one of our world's ecosystems most vulnerable to climate change. Our Mesoamerican reef is the second largest barrier reef in the world. Protecting it would truly integrate Latin America and the Caribbean. Our oceans connect us. Occupying less than 1% of the ocean floor, coral reefs, a nature-based solution for flood protection, are home to more than 25% of marine life. Fragments of Hope is a non-profit, community-based organization in Placencia focusing on the challenge of coral reef restoration at Laughing Bird Key National Park since 2006, a World Heritage Site that was directly hit by Category 4 Hurricane Iris in 01. Most of the shallow reefs were degraded to 6% or less live coral cover. We began mass outplanting of nursery-grown acropored corals in 2010. We have demonstrated over 35% increase in live coral cover at Laughing Bird Key National Park. We have demonstrated longevity as the original coral transplants have almost 12 years survivorship and demonstrated sustainability with sexual reproduction since we've documented the nursery grown outplanted coral spawning since 2014. We have shown our work is scalable by replenishing over a hectare of shallow reef with over 75,000 corals and made it replicable by offering a training program vetted and endorsed by the Belize Fisheries Department, complete with a manual and a three-day hands-on curricula targeting Belizean coastal community members like fishers, tour guides, NGO, and government staff. This transfers the knowledge of our innovative, low-cost, low-tech methods to rapidly grow the Caribbean aquacord corals and place them on shallow, degraded reefs in marine protected areas. We have trained over 40 Belizeans and expanded our program to regional partners in Jamaica this year. We went to Belize back in March and we learned a method that is guaranteed to speed up our outplanting rates here in Jamaica. So we thought, you know, we'd get the Belizeans here to teach the rest of our team and show these people firsthand what it can be like or what, what can be achieved from using their method. So it's really a really amazing and educational experience for everyone involved. We work together as a team and make things happen. And now we are working with fragments of oak. Yes. <laughs> The Inter-American Development Bank funded Fragments of Hope and a Coral Restoration Workshop in Discovery Bay, Jamaica, with the University of the West Indies. At that workshop, I witnessed people connecting. Lisa Karn from Fragments of Hope, Ainelec Wilmot from the Orcabesa Bay Fish Sanctuary, Andrew Ross from Seascape Caribbean, and David Vaughn from Moat Marine Laboratory. I knew about coral restoration efforts around the world, uh, but to actually see it firsthand made such a difference. Fragments of Hope is an amazing organization that's just having such an effect um, um, on the, the Belizean Keys. My name's Ken Niedemeyer, I'm with Reef Renewal. <laughs> no, you don't see this in the Caribbean very often. <laughs> It was great. One of the best examples of good restoration of staghorn and elkhorn both. Excellent, excellent. The rest of the world, how it can be done. Yeah. Les gusto? Mucho. Bonito? No, padrísimo. Felicidades. Thank you very much. Increíble. Gracias. Felicidades. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Anastasia Banaszek and I'm from the National Autonomous University of Mexico. I'm Blanca Quiroga. I'm born in the Mexican National Commission of Natural Protected Areas. And I'm Anna Judo and I work for the Healthy Reefs Initiative. Thank you, Dada. Yes, it was beautiful. All right. Oh, the amount we cover. Okay, okay. It's awesome. All Loved right. It. <laughs> Loved it. It's incredible the work that you guys do. Diana Bombs, Pennsylvania State University. Hi, my name is Art Gleason. I'm with the University of Miami in Florida. In your esteemed expert opinions, where is the best restoration site located in the Caribbean? Laughing Bird Key National Park!
what we always hear about is these coral reefs that are being degraded around the world. Uh, and I want to make sure my students understand that humans are having the effect uh, on that. We talk so, about humans' effect and, and the increase in carbon dioxide and the warming in the atmosphere and what effect that's having on corals. And rather than just talk about the bad things that have occurred, I'm actually able to bring hope into, the, into, into these students. While I was there, Dr. Dave Vaughn, from Moat Marine Lab in the Florida Keys. He brought a diamond edge saw and showed how to micro-fragment the coral uh, and, and to, to transplant those corals right straight back onto the reef itself. It is the involvement of local community and ownership of the restoration work that has made it so successful. I had a additional briefing all the time in my snorkel briefing or dive briefing about fragments of hope. And whenever we have school trips, they're excited about it as well. They've also done some outreach on climate change, which is very important. We have a small fishing business and for a company, and so if the reef doesn't do good, we won't do good. So if you have more coral, you definitely will have more fish. More um, fish equals more money and more food. So what are some of the success factors in our work here? We do have a low population density in Belize, but we've also protected the grazers here since 2009, and we feel that the no-take zones have a definitive positive effect on coral restoration work. Crabs eat algae, sea hare eat algae, parrotfish eat algae, surgeonfish eat algae. All of these critters play an important role in the reef ecosystem health. So we think those are some of our success factors here in Belize. Since 2015, we've expanded our sites to over 10 different locations in three different marine protected areas. These include Gladden Spit and the Silt Keys Marine Reserve, Saltwater Key Marine Reserve, and Turnaf Atoll Marine Reserve. This is just a part of our story at Fragments of Hope Belize. We invite each of you to visit our work in person. Seeing is Belizeing. More corals equals more fish.